Hey everyone, my name is Alex Ramsby. I'm an MSP consultant here at Profile Tech. Today I wanted to go over how to get a patch pushed out to your clients. So once you put in, log into the patch manager here, you come over and make sure that you either do or do not have a stage delay. If you do, you will likely have a secondary step to get some of these zero day patches out first. So come over to the configuration screen. First, we'll check to make sure that we do have a stage delay in our environment. We'll come down to approval policies. I have a default policy here. It does have a stage delay with the re requires routine approval. It has a six day wait plus a six day wait. So I'm waiting day of release plus six days, plus six days, then into production. Some of these zero day patches you went out first, basically as soon as humanly possible or as soon as automatic, automatically possible. So we'll come over to the patch approval screen. So the top right, the checkbox will have a red dot most likely next to it. Once all these patches load here, going to filter out by the patches that I have set. So I just right click contains, and then I'll pick the drop down user that I'm using. I hit apply and I haven't approved anything through this account yet, but let's say this top one here was a zero day patch and I want to get it pushed out. I will hit approve. It will come down here towards the bottom. It will say approval setting, approve, install as the action. And of course it's set by me. And then it does say approval policy. It's set on the default policy here. It means I didn't go through and approve it to a bunch of policies on the left. It's just the one and that's okay. You'll notice that if I didn't scroll to the right, there's a secondary area that's hidden. If you have a stage delay, it will be hidden. The scroll bar will appear. You have to scroll to the right. And right now, if I don't do anything, it will wait the six days and then the six days and then push out to production. So all I have to do is scroll to the right, left click on test, set to production and click OK. Now, once that kicks through, you actually see the stage say production and now I can't go back. There's no undoing that or setting it back to a test or pilot, which is fine. They are still considered a production machine. If you push it out that quickly, it will then get deployed to any machine that is basically getting patch approved. Thanks for watching. We post a new video every week to share our knowledge on Automate. To learn more about what we do, please visit ProvalTech.com. There's a link in the video description below.